everyone and welcome to the second episode of the BBC Microbit. So last episode we did two basic products and I also showed you how to download your code. Well we're going to do a bit more with that and we are going to make our own multicoloured rainbow lights. So we'll apply it to a Christmas tree. It's basically a BBC Microbit extension and I also show it with some strips. So this is just the same as the normal microbit red LEDs, except you can customize them, make them change colors, and do really cool things. So first we're gonna click new project, then we're gonna call it Christmas lights. Well, it is the new year now, so I figured why not try this out. Then click create. And you'll once again see the editor, so we will also use block coding and for this product we're going to import something else called NeoPixels. So NeoPixels, again like I said, will be different colour LEDs, you can customise them, make them move around and even flash. So we're going to scroll down to the advanced section and click extensions. And then you want to select NeoPixel, so it's right here, you can also search for it. So I'll just click that and then it would appear over this section. So now you can see all these different blocks and even a more section. So the more section mainly toggles the brightness, width and RGB things and we'll get into more complicated stuff later. So what we're going to do is drag out set strip to NeoPixel. So we drag it in the on start button. So this will basically set layout of LEDs and since it says 24 LEDs over here, the Christmas tree extension, which I'll later show on the camera and which is in the thumbnail, only has 6 LEDs. So we're going to change that. If you have any other LED light up, count the number of LEDs that it has and input it here and then it will do it as an RGB format which stands for red, green and blue. So you can make as many colours in many different shades as you want. Toggling numbers from 0 to 255 with only those three colours and you can see a little extension will appear at the bottom and then wires will be plugged in to these specific ones. So as you can see, this wire, which is plugged into the zero, is called the signal wire. Then this wire plugged into the 3 volt supply is the volt wire. And then there's the ground wire. So they're plugged into those specific GPIO pins so that the NeoPixel format will work. So then we're going to go to NeoPixel again and drag out strip show rainbow from 1 to 360 so we basically show all the colors in a rainbow format so you don't need to declare the specific colors there's an automatic setting and if you see here it will show a bigger version of it and there's many different colors that it will contain so this is just the on start section which will basically start lighting up the colors so inside the forever loop we're going to go to new pixel and scroll down and then drag out strip rotate pixels by one. So rotate pixels basically means it will move the pixels. So it will sort of be scrolling. So the individual LEDs will change color at a certain amount of time. But what we're going to do first is go to new pixel again and drag out strip show. So it needs to show the LEDs after they've been rotated or set to a different color. The colors will scroll down and they will change. But as you can see, it's happening too rapidly. So you have to go to basic and drag out pause, milliseconds 100 and drag it there. Then it will run again. And then you will see the colors will begin to scroll at a more fixed pace. So now I'm going to import this onto my micro bit. So there's a lot of extensions onto this. So as you guys can see, the micro bit is now pl uh, plugged onto the USB cable and I'm ready to transfer the code. So as you can see, some previous program is running and all the crocodile clips are plugged in. So the yellow one is called the signal pin and it's plugged in. I don't know if you can see it, but it says there's a little S on there and then the 
red crocodile clip is plugged into the water supply and it's saying V, which stands for warts, on top of that hole on the Christmas tree and the black one is plugged into the ground section. Alright, so now we're going to transfer the right code onto this and hopefully the Christmas tree should flash the NeoPixel lights. So it's copying the item, so there's a yellow flashing light. And then after it's downloaded, the Christmas tree should flash multicolored lights, which looks really cool. And you can see even this LED as the star is also flashing. So now we're going to try this on a strip. So we're going to use the same code, but we're going to do it on separate strip LEDs. And you can see it here. It has a set of eight LEDs and we could just use the same code and plug it onto this, but we have to change it to eight LEDs. So guys, as the other Christmas tree is still running, what we're going to do is make some minor changes so it would fit the strip. So as you can see here, this simulator is anywhere just a strip, but my strip has eight LEDs on it. So instead of six, I'm going to change it to eight. And you don't need to change it, it's optional, but you could change that the signal wire is attached to, meaning you can change it from 0, 1 to 2. But I'm going to keep it the same anyway and show you the camera of it transferring to the strip LED supply. So guys, you can see that I've transferred the code. So basically, the voltage wire goes to the plus one and then the ground supply goes on to the negative and then the signal wire goes on to the last one and you can see that it's successfully flashing except the last two ones don't work well that's because this is the old code and we've only mentioned six leds and now i'm going to drag in the new code which will basically mention eight leds and then these last two will start flashing so it's downloading the code as the yellow light is flashing and then it's done and you can see the last two lights are flashing the same rainbow colors so now we're going to try this but we're going to mention specific colors if we don't want to approach with the rainbow kind of style so guys i'm going to show you a different approach that you could do this so instead of rainbow colors one way to do this is that you could shine the whole thing one color and keep alternating throughout patterns of time so you can also see that I've set the brightness, so when you transfer it into a real strip if you have one, you can toggle the brightness and you will not be as bright as the maximum brightness. So I believe the maximum brightness, actually it's in more, would be 255, you could also toggle that. And guys, another way you could do this is that you set a single pixel colour at zero, meaning it will start from the top to a specific colour. Like I chose indigo and I showed that script and I will keep this part the same. It will rotate pixels by one. So basically a single LED will just move down a whole strip of blank LEDs which lights up. So this is another approach you could take it. Unlike lighting up the entire thing, a single colour LED. So you could find this block in the more part. But if you wanted to make a whole strip a specific colour, you could do this block, but this block only means that you could set it at a specific place. So there's many more things you could do to experiment with this format. Loads of complicated and advanced options that you could try. But this is just an introduction to NeoPixel. I might even get to more hardware and show you even more cool projects with NeoPixel. But that is it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And... Bye!